Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the respiratory cycle. This is our ability to bring air into the lungs and then bring air back out of the lungs. And all of this is possible simply due to muscles and pressure changes. So the first thing we need to talk about is what I've drawn up here. Very simple, very basic, but we've got the trachea, We've got our lungs and we've got a couple of muscles here that we need to talk about. First thing is, when we bring air into our lungs, the only reason this happens is because muscles contract and increase the volume of this area of the lungs. So think about it. We've got a couple of important muscles here. First really important muscle when it comes to breathing is that of the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is a skeletal muscle that sits underneath our lungs and it's actually the anatomical barrier between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. So what happens is this, the diaphragm when it's relaxed has this dome shape to it and it's attached to the lung tissue which we can see here. When the diaphragm contracts, the diaphragm pulls down. Now when it pulls down, it's pulling this region of the thoracic cavity with it. So it gets larger. At the same time, other muscles contract. See, what I've got here are ribs, right? And we know that our ribs line our thoracic cavity. And we've got muscles. We've got muscles on the outside and we've got muscles on the inside. Now these muscles on the outside are called external intercostals. External because they're on the outside. Inter meaning between, costals meaning cartilage, specifically ribs. So. What happens is this, the diaphragm pulls down, increasing the size of the, vol the volume of this thoracic cavity. The external intercostals contract up and out. Again, increasing the size of this thoracic cavity. And what happens here is something really important. It's called Boyle's Law. Anytime you increase the volume of a container, the pressure inside goes down. Think about a syringe, right? You take a syringe, obviously get rid of the needle, and put your thumb on the end of the syringe and pull back. What happens is you get suction on your thumb. Why? Why do you get suction on your thumb when you pull back? Because that barrel, as you pull back, the volume inside gets greater. And as it gets greater, the pressure inside goes down. Now, if the pressure is lower inside, it wants to balance out with the external atmosphere, so it tries to pull gas in. So think about this, anytime you watch the weather report on TV, it's always a high pressure to a low pressure. So gas always moves from high pressure to low pressure. So when you pull on the barrel of a syringe, the volume gets larger, the pressure gets lower, and gas wants to rush in from a high pressure to a low pressure. So it's trying to pull gas in, but it's actually pulling on your thumb. If you took your thumb off, gas would rush in. Same thing's happening here. Increasing the thoracic volume and gas rushes in. And this is inspiration or inhalation. So what are the two really important muscles you need to know here for inspiration and inhalation? That's the diaphragm and the external intercostals. Really important. Now, interestingly, when we want to expire or exhale, we just need to relax the diaphragm and it domes back up, relax the external intercostals and they go back. And because lung tissue is very elastic, it snaps back like an elastic band or, an, or a rubber band. And what this does is it brings out most of that air simply due to relaxation. But what if we want to forcefully expire or exhale, well we need to recruit some more muscles. And the muscles that we need to recruit here are the muscles between the ribs, but those inside that we call internal intercostals. Now what the internal intercostals do, are basically the opposite of the externals, is they bring the rib cage in and down reducing the volume of that thoracic cavity. So the pressure goes up inside. And think about it, when you expire, what else happens to your body? You start to bend forward and your abdominals contract. So all the muscles of your abdominals contract, reducing that thoracic volume as well. This makes the pressure inside positive compared to outside and air wants to rush 
out. So what are the important muscles when it comes to expiration or exhalation? It's going to be the internal intercostals, which I'll just highlight here, and the abdominal muscles. The abdominals. And this is what we term the respiratory cycle. 